Hello, students. Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you? Fine, thank hello, you. Hello, hello. Sorry, I had an incorrect background. <laughs> Hi, good evening. Hello, good evening. Let me see. Okay. So I hope everybody's fine. And I hope you had a very good day. How was your day today? What did you do? How was your day, my dear students? Okay. Hello. I have a day. I am you, sick. Oh yeah, I, I can see. I can listen to you that you are very sick. But yesterday you were sick. I saw you. Ayer lo vi que estaba malo. Que le empezaba ahí todo el mal. Yo dije, That's true. Yeah, ayer lo vimos que estaba malo. Pero cuídese un montón, cuídese un montón la garganta, la voz. Esperamos que no sea nada más allá de lo normal. Y si ya se siente más mal, hay que salir corriendo a buscar una prueba. <laughs> ok. Primero, primero Dios no sea nada malo. I hope. Yes, I, but don't don't speak. You can participate on the chat if you want. Participate on the chat so you don't have to be speaking or you don't have to force your, your throat at the moment of speaking, okay? So participate on the chat, Marlon. I saw you yesterday that you were like, ah, ah, ah. and also I saw, if I'm not mistaken, it was Milton that he was he was coughing. Maybe he was he was sick as well. Very well, so you are in the chat. Well, my dear students, today we're going to go and work in the platform for a moment, and then we're going to come back and we're going to work in the, we're going to work in the rest of the unit. So let me open the, the platform. Okay. Okay, let me just open the platform. If you can open your platform, it will be very good. Okay, so we can work together. Si pueden abrir ustedes también su plataforma y vamos a ir trabajando juntos en lo que sea que todavía les falte de esos primeros cursos, that will be very good. So if you can do it, that will be perfect. Okay. Okay. Let's see. So we can work together. Así vamos avanzando al mismo tiempo. Yo sé que ayer no pudimos avanzar mucho porque ya se nos acababa el tiempo, pero hoy sí vamos a poder revisar todos los detalles que tengan. La mayoría de detalles que se han dado han sido por cuestiones de signos, marcas, letras que nos han faltado. Entonces todos esos detalles tenemos que tener muy, muy, muy en cuenta y tener mucho cuidado al momento de desarrollarlos. Ok. I am going to open the platform right now and I'm going to share my screen. So meanwhile, uh, I hope everybody has it there. And if you don't have it, you can open it. Okay, let me share my screen. And we're going to go on the platform. Yo creo que todos si la tienen por ahí, la pueden ir abriendo y vamos a ir trabajando juntos. Okay, so we're going to go to for intermediate class, section one, that I hope everybody has finished that one. And we're going to check on the evaluations to see if you have finished, okay? In this one, I hope that you didn't have any difficulty, any problem. So we're going to check sections one, two, and a little bit of number three, okay? Unit number three is the one that we're going to start today. So, okay, hey, what happened? Enfrente de los niños, come on. <laughs> Let me just refresh this one. Hopefully it's going to work. Come on. Me quedo mal enfrente de los niños. Enfrente de los estudiantes. Okay, let me see if it works. I am going to share it again. Okay, okay. 
here I go. Let's see. Hoy tengo background de llanto, por si lo oyen. There you go. Not for you to believe that I have a kid. In some cases, he cries. No, you cannot listen to him? No. Hey, that's perfect. Nothing. Because he's crying. <laughs> he's that's crying. Nothing. He's crying a lot. Nothing. That's very good that you cannot listen. Well, so I am back here. And uh, in the first section, hopefully it's going to work. So we can cover it. Let's see, let's see. I don't know what's going on with the platform. Maybe they are fixing it. Or maybe because all of us want to enter. You see, hey, that's very curious. Well, if not, I am going to continue working on this one later on and maybe we can come back. No sé si ustedes les carga. Oh, here it goes. There you go, yay. So, in the first sections that we had, we finished this one, right? Did you finish this exam? Yes, teacher. Uh -huh. Knowledge, knowledge. Yes. Yes. It's this a is one knowledge four. check, 1.4. This is the okay. first evaluation that you should have finished. And it says knowledge check. And this is about the, the different uh, commands that we were studying at the very, very beginning of this. So in this one, we had the different pictures, right? We did it in class. I remember we did this exercise in class and it says, pick up, please. And in this one, what did you write here? The toys, the books, the radio, your jacket, the TV. Do you remember? Yes. yes. What was it? Pick up the toys. Uh, the toys. The toys. Pick up the toys. toys. The toys. The toys, right? Please turn <laughs> off. Oh, turn what? the radio. Turn the radio the off. Radio off. Turn the radio off. Cling. I line. don't know your books. It's the light. Your books? No, not the radio. It's light. light. Ah, in this one. Turn. Yes. The ah, the light. Two. The right. light off. Very the good. Light. I am giving you the option for you to complete it. Turn the light off, please. Cling. Please. The garbage. Okay, you can clean the garbage or clean. In this case, what it's very dirty is. Your boots. We your have boot? your boots, right? Your boots. Clean. Your boots. Okay, we can have here. We're going to check it anyway because you can you can uh, use different. Please put the boot. The the trash. No. Uh, you, in this case, you can say please put the, the books. books. The books away. The books. Ah, yeah, sorry. Yes, the books away. Please turn down. And in this case, the yes, radio. we have the radio. the radio. And please take off. Your book. Your book. Uh, no, your the TV. TV. Your jacket. TV. <laughs> you cannot take off your TV because you can Sorry, sorry. Your, your jacket. Your jacket in this case. Please take off your jacket. Oh, the number six is your, your boot. <laughs> Okay, let me just, the, give me just a second. Okay, <laughs> your jacket, right? And I am going to have it here. Okay, your jacket, uh, hang up. In this case, it's number seven, it's hang up. Your hat. Jacket. Jar. Okay, okay let's, let's complete it. We have it there. Please take off, and here you say your boots, right? And here, please clean the yard, you say here. I'm sorry, and the... Okay, and in this one, hang up. In this case, it's your your jacket. Your jacket. Your jacket, because and it's the on the tree, chair. the boots, right? Yes, number three is the yard. Ah, the yard. The yard, you have it right here. Clean up the yard. The next and... one, you have a... Please take out. And in this case, 
It's the trash. Right? right, you have the trash. And the next one, and the last one, I think. Uh, please let, and we have an example there. The dog. The dog <laughs> out and turn off, turn on. The TV. The, TV. the TV is the only one that we're missing, right? Turn on the TV, please, right? And you submit it, and I think it is correct, right? Uh, it's the lights. <laughs> I forgot the S. Yes. Mm -hmm. There you see. And this is a good example. You see, only one letter makes the difference. In this one, I forgot to put the S in this one. And for sure, you have to make sure that you are copying the things correctly, right? In this one, I have forgotten the S and you need to be very careful with this type of details, okay? So this was the first example. It was something very, very simple, right? And then in exercise number two, right? In this one was another example that we did in class and we did it two times. Do you remember? Do pesos, Luisim. Could you lend me $20? And you said, are you kidding? Are, I don't have any cash. Can you get me a sandwich? What was the answer for that one? Don't you remember? I'm writing, sorry, book in soup. I book. Sorry, I'm a bit, I am busy. I'm sorry, but I am a bit, bit, a bit busy. I am busy. Can you I'm help busy. me? Uh, sure, no problem. No, sure, no problem. Yes. sure, no problem. Yes. I'll be yes. glad to. Thank you for not giving me the sandwich because you are busy. Hmm? Thank you. Good Can evening, you... teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Ana Yancy. How are you? Eh, estamos trabajando en la plataforma, así que si la puede abrir y ir trabajando junto con nosotros. That's sí, aquí estoy ya. Se la estaba viendo, pero no escuchaba. Ah, oh, okay, okay, but you are here. Thank God that you can listen to me now. Can you help me move to my new house? The number I am busy. Really I am busy. I'm really so sorry, sorry, but I am no problem. I be no. glad to. And no, I'll be glad to. It's for the sandwich. Yes. Number three, can you help me move to my new house? I'm really sorry, but I am busy, she says. Would you no. mind not sitting here? I'm sorry, I will do right away. Mm, no, I'm sorry, sorry. I didn't realize this seat was taken. Sorry. I didn't realize this seat was taken, right? This was the correct answer. Could you move your car from my space? I'm sorry. I will do it right away. I will do it right away, right? Would you mind not talking so loudly? We are sorry. We are we talking more quietly. Quality. We will talk more quietly, right? It's like, shh, silence, right? And which one were we missing? Ah, we changed this one. <laughs> ya ven como la cambiamos. And in this one, can you get me a sandwich for sure? You say, sure, no problem. Oh, I changed the other one. I'll be glad to, okay? And they say that you are very busy. Okay. Okay. Yo no le quería hacer el sandwich, pero anyway. You said that you were very busy. And in this one, I am going to go here and I am going to uh, show you what it, it's uh, in this one. I'm sorry, I'm busy, right? You cannot get me a sandwich, sorry. And for sure, could you help me move to my new house? Sure, no problem, I will be glad to. Okay, so you were correct. I'm sorry, but I am busy, okay? Sure, no problem. Would you mind not sitting here? I didn't realize this seat was taken. I will do it right away to move the car from my space. Would you mind not talking so loudly? We're sorry, we will talk more quietly, right? And then you click on submit and then you advance on the next evaluations, right? On this unit, we have more evaluations, only the last one, right? that it was the reading that we had with neighbor versus neighbor. Do you remember this reading? We started this at the end of last week, right? When we were reading about the different problems with the neighbors. Do you remember what was the meaning of the word resentment? And your dad grows over time. Anger 
that grows over time, right? Do you know what was the meaning of deliberately? It was on purpose. On purpose. Do you know what is the meaning of irritate? Brother or annoy. It is bother or annoy. Measure? To take measures on things? Uh, I step taken in order to achieve something. Manner? A way of behaving. A way of behaving. Resolve. In a problem or and a problem or a difficulty. And I think for this one, all of them were totally correct, right? Because we studied that in the classes and all your answers were totally correct. Very good. So this was basically the three evaluations that we had in section number one. Did you finish all of them? Ya las terminaron todas? Yeah. Yes? Yes. Perfect. Yes. So these for sure should take you to the next unit, right? That it's the one that we just finished la que acabamos de terminar, pero ustedes ya la tendrían que haber terminado en su plataforma. And I am going to move here to the next... Eh. De tu papá sí me dijo, pero... Teacher. Yes. Eh, a mí me falta en la parte 3, en las tareas, el examen ya lo terminé. Okay. Pero en las uh -huh. tareas no... Y, uh, Sí le entiendo porque es la parte que usted nos explicó donde dice de will, will you, pero yo las pongo y no me salen correctas. Ok, we're going to check them right now. Por eso nos tomamos este momento de este día para revisar esos detalles. Y les decía en la, al principio de la clase que la mayoría de situaciones son por una coma, un punto, una Ajá. letra que nos hace falta. So we need to be very careful. That's why we're going to study them together. Okay, gerunds and infinitives. We started this and we review it uh, at the beginning of the week. Satellites are used. To study the world's weather. To study, right? To study. You cannot say to studying or for to study. It's not possible because you are going to use an infinitive. To study the world's weather. Number two. Robots are sometimes used for perform for perform or for performing for perform. performing for performing for right performing. remember that okay. after you use yeah. for you have to use a gerund right you cannot say to performing because that's incorrect and you cannot say for perform because here you have an infinitive in the next one you can use a cell phone to send text message. message. Exactly. To send. Because in this case, sending doesn't have four and send doesn't have two. So these two are incorrect. And this one, it's the correct infinitive. The next one. We have people use the internet. For Martin David Silverton. Reservations, right? Oh For making travel Reserve. reservations. Reserve. Very good. That's because true. you cannot say for make because this one should be to make, right? And this one you cannot say people use the internet making travel reservations because this one will be incorrect because you don't have for in this case. Good, very good. The next one, DNA fingerprinting is used uh, to, to identify, identify criminals. criminals. To identify criminals. Because in this one it says to identify to identify criminals. Criminals. Uh, that is not correct. It looks similar, but the correct uh, form is not that one. See the rooms are used or for, for storing an encyclopedia. For storing an encyclopedia, for storing right? An encyclopedia. For storing. 
because storing without four is not possible and for stores, it's totally incorrect. So there you have it, very good job. And those are the details that we need to be very careful at the moment of working in the platform, okay? Read carefully, right? Read carefully to understand. The next evaluation we had in this section was this one. And in this one, you had to select an option. Yesterday, we were studying this at night and it says, ¿Cuál se refiere al sistema de alarma? Al celular o a la computadora? We did this exercise yesterday. And it laptop says, computer. try to keep it close to protect the screen, the laptop, right? Uh, laptop. Don't forget to write down your secret code. Alarm. The alarm. alarm. Remember to turn it off as soon as you come into the door. Alarm. Alarm system. system. Try not to get it wet or the keys might get stuck. Try not laptop what? computer. The laptop or mm -hmm. the cell phone, right? You don't have to you don't have yes. to get it wet. Make sure mm -hmm. to set it each time you leave home. Alarm. Alarm. The alarm. Wow. Remember to recharge the batteries before they die. Cell phone. The cell phone, right? And be sure to turn it off before bed or a call might wake you up. Cell phone. The cell, cell phone. phone, right? There you go. You have it there. And uh, they have it here for four the, and seven. It's a laptop. Okay. I was giving the points to the cell phone, but they have it. It's the laptop then. Okay. There you go. The laptop, the keys, it might get stuck. It's the laptop. I was defending the cell phone. The next one. So this was uh, the exercise that we did yesterday before finishing the class. Here, you have one final exam that it's the one that we are going to do today. And this is the reading. A day in the life in the year 2020. Let's see if it happens like that okay here i have one two three four five six seven paragraphs and we're going to read it together and it says here okay i am going to start reading and then i am going to ask different people to help me reading the questions you need to pay attention while driving true or false you pay for groceries when they arrive True or false? People don't use cash anymore. True or false? You usually buy a hamburger or a pizza for lunch. True or false? We're going to see on the reading. You need to go to the office every day. True or false? You and your coworkers have to speak the same language. When you get a message, you can see the sender's face. True or false? You have to go to a video store to rent movies, true or false. We are going to read the information to see if it's true or not. It says, people used to know more or less how, the ch how their children would live. Now things are changing so quickly that we don't even know what our own lives will be like in a few years. What follows is how experts see the future. Ajá, vamos a ver si es cierto que se nos cumplió el futuro. The next one. <clears throat> you are daydreaming behind the wheel of your car, but that's okay. You have it in automatic pilot. And with this high tech computer, your car knows how to get to your home safely. So the first one. You need to pay attention while driving, yes or no? No. No, right? Because the car is going to take you to your house safely. Let's see the number two. And for this one, Mr. Ismael is going to help us to read number two. No. Hey, you head for the kitchen when you get home. You order groceries by computer an hour ago. They been delivered. You pay for them before they arrived. The money was automatically deducted from your from your bank account. 
Nobody uses cash anymore. Nobody uses cash anymore. So let's check on the questions to see which ones can we answer. You pay for the groceries when they arrive? Yes or no? Pagamos hasta que llegan o ya están pagadas? Ya están pagadas. So you say? False. False. It's false because you don't have to pay for them. People don't use cash anymore. True. 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 Good. True. Let's continue. Let's continue. Mr. Milton, can you help me to read? You need to pay attention. We are driving. No, number three. What's for lunch? This oh. one. Okay, let me make uh, it bigger. Uh, what's for lunch? Uh-huh. Here. What's for lunch? In the old days, you use use it to stop off to get a hamburger or pizza. Now you use your diagnostic machine to find to find out with food your body needs. Your food preparation machine, machine made you a salad. Uh -huh. Your food preparation machine makes you a salad. It says you usually buy a hamburger or a pizza for lunch. True. Uh, I think it's false. It says uh -huh. because the diagnostic machine is going to give you the food that you need. So this one is false. You don't buy pizzas or hamburgers anymore. Bye bye. And that happens in the year 2020. Nah, <laughs> it didn't happen. Let's see. Let's continue here. Look, this is the machine. The next one. Uh, Blanca, can you help me after lunch? After lunch, you go down the hall to your home office. Here you have everything you need to do your work. You never have to communicate to work anymore. anymore, anymore. <laughs> you never have to commute to work anymore. Commute is to travel, right? Back and forth, okay. back and forth. So you never have to commute to work anymore. And it says, you need to go to the office every day? False. False, False. False. because you commute. False. I think this one is the only one that made two. Yes. Esta fue la única que se nos ha cumplido <laughs> for, for el me, año 2020. Yes. <laughs> the I... next one. The next one, it's going to be on Julio. Can you help me to read? Sure. Your information stream says that you received a message from a co-worker in Brazil. You said your computer to translate Portuguese into English. Your co-worker's face appears on the screen and the translation appears at the bottom. That's so fantastic. Imagine me speaking in English and in Spanish uh, <laughs> subtitles going down here. Yeah. And it happens now. It happens. We have technology. With, with, with some applications. Yes, there are some applications that do that in these years. So that's another one that happens. And it says, you and your co-worker have to speak the same language? False. It's false. Because the other one can speak Brazilian and you Spanish and for sure you are going to understand. And the last one, let's see. And it says, your coworker's face appears on the screen and the translation appears at the bottom. The last one says, uh, Catherine, can you help me to read? You finish working and go back to your living room. You turn on the television and look through the list of the movies. It's like having a video store in your home. How about a glass in Sonia? Tonight. My back, tonight. My, ba my back to the future. Maybe back to the future, Maybe. right? Maybe back to the future. Excellent. You go, you turn on the television and look throughout the list of new movies. It's like having a video store in your home. How about a classic tonight? Maybe back to the future. So in this way, when you get a message, you can see the sender's face. Yes or no? True. True, right? True. And you have to go to the video store to rent movies? 
False. False, right? False. False. Because you have the movies right there in your house. From all these situations in the year 2020, this was the predictions for the year 2020. I think the only one that it's real is the home office. That's the only one that it's real, the home office. Because you have to continue driving and we are in the 2021. We have to continue driving. We need to learn languages. We have to prepare food. You are still call for a pizza or a hamburger, right? You, we don't have a machine. And for sure, in some cases, we have to pay to watch movies, right? We need a platform to watch movies. So maybe in, a, in like in 10 years, we are going to have all these situations that were discovered here. Imagínense ya por el 99, 2000 que hicieron este libro, creían que en el 2020 iba a pasar todo eso. <laughs> And it didn't happen. But we have working, working from home. And home office, it's the only one that it's real. So this was unit uh, or section number two, right? It was not that complicated, but the one that gave us problems was our little one, number three, right? This one was the one who gave us a lot of difficulties. So we were working on this one yesterday, right? The first evaluation that we had for unit number three is, let's see, I'm going to go here. I'm going to open it. And I hope everybody's there. It's about celebrations, right? Unit number three, it's about celebrations. And in here, It says, okay, it's connecting, there we go. This is what we're going to study today, right? Uh, when you have, for example, uh, these type of sentences that are the ones that we're going to study today, right? Let me see. Which one was the, the evaluation that was giving you problems? Porque esos son los que vamos a hacer ahora. I think they are in the in, in the mid, in the second one. Did I miss anyone from the second? Try it, yeah, carnival time. This one. Ah, this was the listening, right? There you go. Carnival time was the one that we were having problems yesterday, right? Carnival time. What is carnival? It's a party, right? We were saying. How long does it last? four days. When is it? It's on late February or early March in the period, right? And what is Samba? It is a dance, right? This was the one that we were doing yesterday that was giving you a lot of problems. So remember to write it correctly because if not, it is going to continue giving us problems. So in this case, I think this one was the other one. No, this is for today's answer. What is New Year's Day? It says New Year's Day is a day when, and we have Brazilians celebrate the carnival. People have parties with family and friends. Many young adults choose to get married. People in many countries honor the workers. People express their love to someone or people sometimes play tricks on friends. What happens on New Year's Day? People express people how party with family and friends. People have parties because when yes. you express your love is in another celebration. That, you are yes. going to see. April's Fool or El Día de las Bromas. It's a day when people sometimes people play sometimes. tricks on friends. People sometimes, sometimes play, play tricks, tricks on friends, right? Because April yes. Fool is the day of the bromas in Estados Unidos, and they play in tricks. April? April Fool. That's the yeah. That's the name of the, this celebration. The name, but it's not. In it's in April. Months. Yeah, it's in, in April. April. Too. Yes, oh. it's in April, in and Europe. it says, yes, but it's in the United States. It's very common. May and June mm -hmm. are the month when. We have 
Many young adults choice to get married. Adult choice to marry. Okay, many young adults choose to get married. Let's see, let's see. Valentine's Day is a day when people express their love to someone. To someone. <laughs> Labor Day is a day when people in many countries honor workers. Exactly. And February is the month when Brazilians um, celebrate carnival. Yes. Brazilians celebrate carnival. I think it's yes, it's the it's opposite, but I am going to see. Let's see. And there we go. Yay! So we have New Year's Day is a day when people have parties with family and friends. These that we have here, and let me explain you here. I am going to go back here. Let me move it. I am going to explain you here. When you use this type of phrases, like this one, when it says, it's a day when, and you have people have parties with family and friends. I, April Fool is a day when. These ones are called relative clauses. Okay? Porque esto le da entrada a la siguiente frase, que nos va a explicar lo que decía la primera. Right? April Fool is a day when, People sometimes play, play tricks on friends. May and June are the months when, and this, it's a relative clause, right? It gives you the entrance to the next sentence. And it says, many young adults choose to get married. Valentine's Day is a day when, and then you have it here, and then you add extra information, okay? So, in these cases, here we have uh, the relative clauses that it's the topic that we're going to study today. Okay, so here you go. But most of your sentences were correct. Then we had the carnival, right? That it's the one that we already finished. The carnival time. And for sure, we are going to complete this one. Uh, we can complete it today and I can explain it to you right now in the class. And it says, before, uh, I think for this one, we need a reading. Let me see. We are going to go over the reading. For this one, we need a reading, but it's okay. Before a man and a woman get married, they usually, what do you think they do before they get married? Pay for the wedding and reception, go on a short trip, give the bride and the group, uh-huh. So they short... order for about a year. Date each other for about a year. Before a woman and a man get married, they have to date, right? Tienen que salir en citas y todo eso, right? They date each other for about a year. When a couple engage, bling, the men often begin to Jamai, plan. The woman, diamond ring, though. No. Ah, gives a woman. Ding. Diamond ring. A diamond ring. Any type of ring, right? Aquí en El Salvador le dan hasta uno de plástico. Yeah, it's so cool. But you want to get married. That's fantastic. It gives a woman a diamond ring. Right after the couple gets engaged, tan pronto como se comprometen, they usually begin to plan the wedding. Begin to plan the wedding. Begin to plan the wedding. Yay. When a woman gets married, her family usually pays for the, for the wedding and reception. Usually, right? Usually, because here in El Salvador, it's everybody pays for the yes. wedding and the reception. But it is very common that the father of the girl pays for the wedding. When people are invited to a wedding, they almost always if the bride and groom a gift or some money. They give the bride and the groom a gift or some money. Money. And here in El Salvador, many people go to eat. The next one we have, right after a couple gets married, they usually go on go a on short, short trip. trip. Honeymoon. Go on a short trip oh. called honeymoon. And for sure, this is the process for getting yeah. married. ¿Quién no se ha casado aquí? 
Hi. <laughs> I did a good thing. So you see, now you have the process. <laughs> now you know the process. Invitados, aquí estamos ya. Okay. <laughs> right? And uh, the, the rest is the process. Miguel, are you married? No. Okay, so you have the process right here. <laughs> Let me see. Alfredo. Oh, yeah, Alfredo is married. He has kids. I have seen him. And who else? Maritza, are you married? Maritza. Maritza siempre se me pierde. ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué pasa? Okay, so uh, Blanquita, I don't have to ask you if you are married because you are married. <laughs> So this is basically what we're going to cover in unit number three, but we did the exams already. That's pretty awesome. And you see, this was the last evaluation. And for sure here, we have a reading. After the reading, we are going to do exactly the same that we did in the previous reading, right? You have to go over the reading and you have to ask, you have to answer, what uh, the questions mean in these cases. In these cases, they have a specific words. And what do the words mean in the specific lines? For example, what does them mean in part number one, line number two? We are going to read it. What does the word them? ¿Qué significa la palabra them? En el párrafo 1, línea 2. Leamos el párrafo 1 y me dicen ustedes qué significaba. It says, pay attention. January 17th is St. Anthony's Day in Mexico. It is a day when people ask for protection for their animals by bringing them to church. ¿Qué significa en este caso la palabra them? Animals. Animals, right? Because they are talking. Uh, they ask for protection for their animals by bringing them to church. So in this case, the word them in the first one refers to animals. Okay. What does it mean? The word it in paragraph two, line two. And it says, paragraph two, line two. On August 15 of the lunar calendar, Koreans celebrate Shusok, also known as Korean Thanksgiving. It's a day when people give thanks for the harvest. ¿A qué se refiere este it? Aquí. Um, Ah, Shusok. We are talking about the celebration. Ah, okay. Talking okay. about the celebration. It's a That's day right. when people give thanks to the harvest. What day? The day. The day they celebrate. Exactly. The day on which they celebrate. In this case, the word it refers to Shusok. Shusok. Okay. Number three. What does the word there refers in paragraph two, line four, there. Let's see, paragraph two, line four. And it says, no, let's see. Yeah. Part, part two, two, the same. The same. Part two, line four. four. Part, okay, line four. Let's go here. I am going to move this one. And it says, chen, 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 chen. Uh, people give thanks to the harvest. Korean families honor their ancestors by going to their graves to take them rice and fruit and clean the grave sites. Korean families honor their ancestors by going to their graves to take them rice and fruit. What does the it ancestors? mean? Them, the ancestors, right? The ancestors. The ancestors. In this case, there there right it, no 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 it's Teacher, there, there. Their families it's or there families. Uh -huh. in this case i am going to take them here going to their graves right it's not them it's there going to their graves so in this case it's korean families the next one them in paragraph three line number five Paragraph three, line number number five. And it says, paragraph three. 
Long ago in India, a princess who needed help sent her silk bracelet to an emperor. Although he did not arrive in time to help her, he kept the bracelet as a sign of the bond between them. What does it mean, them? The bond between them. Who are we talking about? ¿De quiénes estamos hablando? Para hacer este them aquí. Um, Ma'am. Ma'am. Uh -huh. Ma'am. Ma'am. The men, the women, or the bracelet? Men. Men. Okay, line number five. And let's continue reading here. And it says, let's see, four, five. Today in India, during the festival of Raki, men promise to be loyal to their women. In exchange, the women give them a bracelet of silk, cotton, and or gold thread. Give them, in this case, it's for the men. And the la number what does five. Mean, sorry, sorry. What sorry, does but... mean um, return the paragraph, please? Um, oh my God. Sk silk. 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 Uh -huh. Seda. Okay. Thank you. Seda. And bond is a lasso between them. Okay. And the festival is called Raki. Raki. Right. Men promise to be loyal to their women. In exchange, the woman give them a bracelet of silk, cotton or gold, right? For them to be loyal to each other. The next one says, what does it mean this? In paragraph four, line four, this. Let's read it. Paragraph four, line four. One of the biggest celebrations in Argentina is New Year's Eve. On the evening of December 31st, Families get together and have a big meal. At midnight, fireworks explode everywhere and continue throughout the night. This is a day when friends and families meet for parties, which last until the next morning. What does it mean this in this case? Families, midnight New or New Year's Eve? New, York, New, York. New Year's New Year's Eve. And the last one, them, paragraph five, line, line number five, them. It says, on the evening of February 3rd, people in Japan celebrate the end of winter and the beginning of a spring. This is known as setsubun. Family members throw dry beans around their homes, shouting, Good luck in, evil spirits out. After they throw the beans, they pick them up and eat one bean for each year of their age. Imagine what a crazy tradition. In this case, what does it mean, the word them? Paragraph line, line paragraph five, sorry, line five. We're going to check it here. Okay, okay, okay. It, One, two, it, three, four, five. It and it says beans. they pick they, them up. The people? Pick the them beans. up. The beings, right? The beings. They refer to the beings. People pick them up and they eat it. Imagine if you have to eat one bean per year of your life. That will be like a lot of beans. So this is basically the uh, the reading about unique customs here in El Salvador we have very unique customs as well now after, yes I'm sorry before you move on uh, can you please do me a favor yes and I need the correct spelling for the the one that we were discussing yesterday uh, I'm sorry which one um, let me go back carnival time I'm, I'm sorry um, Yes, that one. I, I need the correct spelling for the three and the number four. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I... It's on late February. It's I think I send them on the chat. Let me see. Uh, I don't know. Yes, I think I send them to you can, on the chat. Can yes. you say Kasnipin and 
put it again, please? I'm sorry. Okay, let me see. Let me see. Let's see. I think I sent it. If not, I am going to send it back right now so you can I'm have checking. it. Let me yeah, see. I'm, I'm checking on the chat. Okay, if not, let me just check it out. Let me. Do okay, it. yeah, I got it. I got it. Yeah. Yes, it it's now. on late February or early March. Uh huh. It's on late February <laughs> or early March. And the next one, it is a dance. Okay, thank you. Yes, and let me see. 3.6, it says, Mr. Marlon. This one, Mr. Marlon, did I answer your question? Let me see, he had problem with section 3.6, number three. Let me see. Okay. It's, it's the same, thank you. Okay, did you copy? <laughs> the answer right and it is on the chat as well you can check it there so after this one my dear students what we need to do is to cover the mid section okay this is something that you should finish this weekend okay this weekend it's the perfect moment for you to finish this section right if you haven't done this I also, and I insist you to finish this, this coming weekend, if you haven't finished, okay? If you haven't finished doing this. In the midterm section, you are going to find six or seven evaluations about the three different units. And what you are supposed to do there is that you have to complete the six exams, okay? That it's going to give you the midterm evaluations for the module, right? They are going to mark the mid part of these uh, 16 days that we are going to be together, okay? It is not moving, right? I am hoping this hurries up, but it never moves, right? There you go, hey. And what you have here are six different evaluations, right? In this one, you are going to circle or to mark the words that are uh, needed to complete this exercise. I am not going to work on these exercises with you because you have to finish them alone. And if you need help, for sure, we are going to be there for sure uh, checking them on Monday. We're going to check them on Monday to see if you have completed them. In this one, you have to choose the correct word. And it says, Please clean your uh, bedroom. It's really messy. You can say, please clean off, clean up, or clean on. Up, clean up. Uh, clean up, right? You have to choose that answer. I'm not going to give you the answer, but I can give you an idea of what to do. Could you please put... The way. Okay, exactly, the, the groceries way. in the kitchen. Can you turn the TV while I am on the phone? Or down. Yeah, or down. I'm down because I I cannot listen, right? Uh, in this one, microwave microwave ovens are used for cooking. For cooking. For cooking. Exactly, right? You know, and it's the same exercise that we did before. You have to be very careful on choosing the correct answer. When you go to the beach, try not to get not to get not to get not to get. Right? Remember that we don't use don't in this case. Try not to get the camcorder wet. The next one, you can use my cell phone. To leave. To leave, to leave to a leave? voicemail. Don't forget. To take. Okay. For to take. Don't for forget take. To, to, take. Take. to take. To take your ATM card with you. What is the ATM? It's the, uh, the card that you can use in an ATM machine. The ATM, it's the cajero, the ATM car with you. So these type of exercises, at least this one is for choosing. This one, you have to rewrite the sentences. And in this one, you have had a lot of difficulties because we are not writing the correct sentences. Remember, in this case, could you close the door, please? No, please. Would you please take out the garbage? Would you mind 
¿Cuál fue el cambio que le decíamos a esta? Would you mind? Not. Not, not yes. sitting. Not sitting. Sitting, not if you... Not sitting. sitting has double T. Ok. Um, double T, I-N-G. Uh, muchos estuvieron preguntando ahora en el chat y yo les decía, double T, sitting, sitting. That was the mistake that we were having. Not sitting. Can you please take the cat out? Repeat that, please. Could you? Could you repeat that, please? Okay, and you create the sentences like that. Okay, so this one you have to be very careful. I think this is the only one that was giving you a lot of problems. And I answer also on the chat the same question. This one you have a listening. Okay, for this one you have a listening. And what you have here is... Uh, conversations, right? As Stephanie says, Richard is, and then you have a geek, a hacker, a mouse. Barry asks Marta how to, and then you have the, the questions. According to Eva, right? And we have the three, four, Heather shows Carlos how to use his new computer too. And then we have the situation. Do you want to listen to this one and we can create the, Exercise together? Yes, no? We're going to listen to this one for us to complete this part together. Yes. Go ahead. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct answers. One. Hey, Stephanie, have you seen Richard recently? I've left him a few voicemails, but he never calls me back. Is he okay? He never calls me back either. But don't worry about him. He bought a new computer last week. So? So, he spends all day and night on his computer. He's become a total geek. Really? He never used to like computers. Okay. Stephanie says, Richard is? A geek. A geek. Right, he's a geek. The next one. Barry asks Marta how to. Let's continue listening. Well, he does now. He never goes out and has fun anymore. Two. Hey, Martha, can you come help me? I'm having computer problems. You? But you're such a technophile. You're always surfing the net. Yeah, but I don't know how to do everything. So what's the problem, Barry? Whoa, what are all these photos doing on the table? I'm trying to scan them so I can email them to friends. Oh, scanning is easy. Place the photo here. Be sure to put it face down. And then double click on this. That's it? That was easy. Barry asks Marta how to scan photographs. Photograph. Scan photographs. Very good. The next one. Three. Guess what, Eva? I just bought a really cheap plane ticket online. Really? I always go to a travel agent to plan my vacations. Well, you can sometimes get cheaper tickets on the internet. You should browse some websites. You have a computer at home, don't you? Yeah, but I never use it. Why not? What's wrong with it? Nothing. But my roommates are always playing games on it. When I tell them I need to use it, they say they're just going to finish the game, and then... So... According to Eva, she uses her computer a lot. Her roommates use her computer or her computer is not working properly. Her roommate use her computer a lot. Okay. Her roommates use her computer a lot. And let's see. Uh, okay. Let me see. Number four, the last one. Four. How do you like your new computer, Carlos? Actually, Heather, I prefer my old one. Really? Why? There are so many things I can't do. I don't know how to highlight text, drag and drop, or cut and paste. I could do all that on my old computer. And please don't tell me to read the manual. <laughs> Let's take one problem at a time. Okay. 
I want to highlight those two words. Just use your mouse, like this, and then press this key here. That was easy. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Uh, Heather is showing Carlos how to use his computer too. Highlight, highlight, <laughs> highlight, highlight, highlight is, highlight. Uh, it is uh, resaltar or sombrear, right? It is sombrear el text, okay? So that's the idea. In this one, you have the listening. And for sure, here on the other ones, you have to go over the reading, right? And answer the questions. And the last one that you need to do is matching, right? This is similar to the exercise we did about the wedding, okay? And that's basically it, what you need to do for the next uh, sections, okay? So I wanted to dedicate this day to work on the platform for you to see and catch up, okay? Quería hacer esta pausa en, en, en el caminar de las clases que hemos tenido para que no nos queden dudas acerca de la plataforma, right? And uh, if you still need to have uh, help if you still need help on something specific if you still have questions for sure don't doubt on asking okay tomorrow i am going to continue with the class of section number three and this was everything for today my dear students thank you i am teacher. going to see you tomorrow thank you. for the next good night. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. have a beautiful good night. night see you tomorrow good night bye-bye